life is really kind of focused on drink, drugs. The whole kind of purpose of life was just to have fun, have a laugh. And it's just a way of kind of making your life bearable until you die. Uh, it tends to kind of be in a kind of heavy metal crowd, hanging around a lot of people with similar interests, um, which weren't always the best company to keep. My first experience of seeing Muslims was the 9-11 attacks. Um, I remember I was quite young at the time and I wasn't completely aware of what was going on. Uh, in fact, I ran to one of my friends after seeing the news report and uh, I told him that the tourists had declared war in America because um, I'd, I'd never heard of terrorists before. Uh, as the war was unfolding and I was seeing more and more uh, about the war in Afghanistan, I started understanding that these people were Muslims and that the Muslims were you know, doing these horrible atrocities ac across the world. So f from that kind of, uh, media bombardment, I started getting a strong hatred for Muslims. Uh, so much, in fact, uh, I tried to join the army three times with, with the goal of wanting to, to go over there and, and kill as many as these people as, as I could to do my bit for the country uh, and to make it a bit safer for my family. As this, I thought they were you know, the big evil of the world. Um, I started hearing a bit more about Islam. It was the last time I was applying for the army. I came across this radio station. It was at a time when I was listening to conspiracy theory radio and things like this. And this, uh, it was a radio station from the American government called Terror Talk. And it was talking about the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it, it, it just didn't sound right to me that people would follow him from all these evil things they were saying about him. So I started to question what Muslims believed at that time. I was on a spiritual search anyway. Um, at the time I was looking into Norse mythology and paganism and one of my friends turned to me and said before you decide on this paganism thing have a look around a bit more and then I eventually picked up the Quran from my college uh, when I had it I actually thought I was picking up a, like a terrorist handbook and I was a bit worried that MI5 were going to come after me uh, as soon as they saw me uh, take it out of the library but as soon as I started reading the book it just it, it hit me immediately and I couldn't stop reading it, it just it, it sank deep into my heart. And as, as I kept continuing through, through the different surahs, I remember reading about uh, the people in the fire having boiling water to drink, burning their throats. And as I could read this and I was living this awful life, I could feel my throat burning and I could feel kind of how real this thing was and how I had to change. Uh, the first day I went to the mosque, um, I spent all day there reading and my mum called me in the evening and asked me you know, where had I been all day and I said I was at a mosque she's like what no 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 you, you can't be at a mosque you're a Christian Christians don't go to mosques and she was very very shocked and thought I was going down a bad bad path um, that was my mum's original reaction after a while she started to accept it she'd done a lot of crying um, I'm not too sure why she was crying I think she felt I was rejecting everything she'd taught me. A lot of people say when they find Islam it's as if they've come home and that's just the feeling I get. It's as if me in the past wasn't me at all. I was being controlled by something else. Um, only good things have happened since I've become Muslim. My life is sorted out and I've never had so much going on in my life at one time.